day, not during harvest season. Yeah, 60% of corn, 83% <laughs> of soybeans are already out of the fields. Getting the rest out could be a bit of a challenge now. WHO 13 Stephanie Johnson joins us live from Carlisle. Stephanie, the rain has turned many fields to mud, but you say where you are, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, Aaron. Overall, the soil at Phoenix Farms and Carlisle, it feels a little damp, but Sunday's downpour could have long and short term impacts for farmers overall. Now, according to Iowa State University, the short term effects for a farmer is currently in the middle, currently in the middle of harvesting. Could the increased rain can cause muddy soil and badly impact crops. However, since Iowa experienced a drought earlier this year, Sunday's rain and the rain that's forecasted to come later this week will be helpful to farmers in the long term. It's technically, we're probably still going to be underneath the uh, drought, um, but this is a good step, to, you know, to start getting it. And, and again, looking at the forecast, you know, we have chances for more rain, and, and as we get more rain. And um, then those drought conditions will um, continue to deteriorate and then that will um, ultimately mean that we've got a lot of soil moisture for next year's crop. If it would have came earlier in the year, yes, we could have had maybe a lot more crop, but we had a very good crop the way it was, so we can't complain. Now, fortunately for Phoenix, he is finished with his harvest season. But according to Lick, he says commodity corn, such as this in my hand, as well as soy, are the crops that are most impacted by Sunday rain, by Sunday's rain, as well as the rain to come later this week. Aaron. Yeah, and there is more in the forecast. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, as